Hey, 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 it's Grips here, and thanks for joining me as you do. Now, it's never been so easy to create subtitles using Corel Video Studio 2022, and I'm going to show you just how easy that is. I, for one, am very happy that this feature is now available, speech to text. The old way was just too difficult and just took too long and I just never ever used it. And in fact, I find it so handy. If you stay till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a hack that I've been doing. I've been using this little tool for something completely different, but stay till the end and I'll show you what it is. Now, you may be wondering, why would I speak English and then have it also subtitled in English? Because it's not a translator, very simple. The statistics are showing more and more people are actually using subtitles rather than actually listening to it. Why? They want more privacy. They're in a crowded place and they don't really want the volume up, so they're reading the text instead. Very simple. We put a footage onto the timeline, we highlight it, and we go over here to the speech to tech. We just click it once. A little window pops up and it gives you two options, timeline and subtitle editor. Simply put, if you hit timeline and you hit start, it scans and it goes automatically into your timeline on your title track, boom, you are done. And it does a pretty good job. Before you launch it, you can actually change the attributes of the text itself, like the size, the fonts, whatever it is. Either way, it's up to you. You also have the option to do this afterwards, which I will show you. I recommend to go for the subtitle editor because you have more control. As soon as I press start, it transcribes my text. So when I get into the actual software, everything is already set up for me. Now let's have a look at what I'm doing, or what I'm saying, not what I'm doing, what I'm saying. Let's go. And here's a demonstration just to show you how quickly the software can convert my voice. Now have a look at that. It did it 100% perfect and I'm very, very impressed with that. I use Dragon Naturally Speaking and it doesn't even come close to this. So I'm very impressed with this software already. You'll have a couple of options up here. It goes into sections, like obviously I took a small pause and it goes on to the next clip. So the software picked this up as well. And obviously the last two things I said into text. Into text. Now you have control here as far as how long you want the subtitles to stay on or when do you want the subtitles to appear and when do you want the subtitles to go off. You can do this through this option here, time offset. And it looks a bit complicated. And to be honest, there's a much easier way to do this. And then it's just simply just click on here. And then you can just move the time or the frame rates to whatever you want, make it shorter or longer. And it's just so much simpler and fast. You don't need to sit there and worry about it all. Now you can go through your text. Let's say you're looking at something and you go, that's wrong. Then you can just click on here once and then you have the options to change that text. For example, I may wish to have a big A instead of a little A. If I'm happy with that, I'll just click anywhere and I'm done. You can go through all of this and then you're good to go. You have an option here of different languages. So I, I can speak Dutch because I am Dutch. I can also, if I'm doing everything in Dutch, it translates it into Dutch. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of options currently available. Once you are happy with everything, it's simple. You press OK. If you're not happy with it and you think the software can do a better job, scan it again. But I'm pretty happy with it because like I said, it, this is 100% correct. I'm going to press OK. And it's going to automatically do the same thing, put everything onto the timeline like so. And here's a demonstration. Just Now, once I have done this and I say, wow, look at this, there's still a mistake. Dopey me didn't see it. You can now treat this as a normal text title track, double click, double click, and then it brings the cursor. And then again, you can change everything in here and have the options in the standard, uh, the editing software. If you're gonna upload this to YouTube, there's two ways we can actually approach this. I'm just gonna uh, clear out this timeline so I can show you something else. Using the exactly the same clip as the demo, let's go back into the subtitle editor itself. So subtitle editor, press start. We know it works 100%. Okay, now once you finish with everything and you're happy with it, you have two options. Do you want to have the subtitles on your video and then upload that to YouTube. Therefore, the person who's watching does not have the option to actually turn it off. In YouTube, you will see that you have a thing called CC. In other words, YouTube will then put in the speech to text. You can also add this in by yourself by saving the file as an SRT. So export the subtitle file by you clicking here. And this is going to create an SRT file. 
So let's do that. Let's uh, create it on my desktop and I'm just going to type in the word test because I'm very, very creative. And now let's go to YouTube. Let's begin by uploading a video. So create, upload videos. I'm just going to drop and drag or drag and drop my clip called demo. There you go. So let's pretend that you then you've set everything up already. And now what you want to do is you want to go right to the bottom. Well, you might even have to do that. You just press next. <laughs> All right, add subtitles. So what you want to do is you hit the word add and then you go look for that SRT file. Upload this file without timing with timing. We want with the timing. So luckily the SRT already has this. And let's go look for the test file here and it will upload it here. And there you go. Everything that I said or that was done in Video Studio is now on the SRT. I can upload it here and then press done. That means if somebody's watching me, they have the option of turning off the subtitles. And that gives you more control or gives you as uh, the creator, your viewer, more options. And I think that's pretty neat. Okay, to that one guy that's still watching my video till the end, I'm going to show you my little hack. Something I've been doing that's made my life a lot easier just by using this speech to text tool. I'm going to go into the voice over and I'm going to click yes, I want that. And I'm just going to type or just say something very simple. Hi everybody, it's wonderful to have everybody here watching me today. Very simple. I'm going to highlight that clip, go into the speech to text subtitle editor and press start all right now sometimes it doesn't come up that's okay i can just scan it again it will, will come up right now once i do have it i'm going to save this as an srt file uh yes desktop and i'm going to type in uh test two or three whatever it is and press save and I, I'm done with that. I don't need any more. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go to my desktop and look for that file. Text 2. As you can see, I've already got one here from the, <laughs> the video before. And I'm just going to use the WordPad to open this. So I'm going to double click it. It'll open up. And voila, now it's on my WordPad. I don't need the timestamps. I'm going to delete this. Hi, everybody. It's wonderful to everybody here watching me today. What I've been doing is whenever I write something for my Facebook page or anything like that, instead of typing it out, I've been using the speech to text, then exporting it onto my uh, Word document. And from here, I can then just put it straight into Facebook. And I'm telling you, this is saving me so much time because I am the slowest typer in the world. And this is helping me a lot. So there you go, my friends. As always, thanks for watching.